Want to know how to get into the residency program of your dreams, but the ERAS is overwhelming you? In this video, we're going to cover what the ERAS is and give you the top seven tips for applying to residency using this system. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans with BMO Academic Consulting. Before we dive in, click on the link to subscribe to our channel. That way, when we release more videos with tips and tricks, you won't miss a thing. Also, if you want us to help you with your residency application, click the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. So let's get into it. Don't worry if you've never heard of ERAS. It stands for Electronic Residency Application Service. It's a centralized online application system used to deliver your application and supporting documents to residency programs. It has four sections, the My ERAS section, which is for you, the applicant. This is where you can fill out your application, select programs, upload supporting documents, and submit your files to the programs you wish. The second section is the Dean's Office Workstation, or DWS, which allows designated Dean's offices to upload transcripts and medical school performance evaluations to complement the applications you've already sent in through My ERAS. The third station is the Letter of Recommendation Portal, or LORP. Letter of Recommendation authors can submit their letters to support the My ERAS applications submitted. Finally, there is the Program Director's Workstation, or PDWS. This is where the programs receive and review your applications and supporting documents. So, how do you start filling out your application? Firstly, you'll obtain an ERAS token from your designated Dean's office. Don't forget, you need an AAMC account in order to register your token, so make sure you create one if you don't have one already. Tip number one, register as soon as you've received your ERAS token. This gives you lots of time to get started, as some documents may take a few days to upload, such as photos. Make sure to register for early match if you're interested in neurology, pediatric neurology, ophthalmology, or urology. Tip number two. Write your personal statement outside of the My ERAS using a plain text word processing application. This could be Notepad for Windows users or Simple Text for Mac users. If you pick an application not using plain text, when you import it into My ERAS, it could contain hidden or invalid formatting. Tip number three, proofread endlessly. You cannot edit or update a personal statement or your application once submitted. Unassigning a document does not remove it from the program server. Even if you realize that your personal statement has had a lot of errors and send in a revised copy, they may have already reviewed the old one and may be referring to it. Tip number four, apply to more programs to give you the best chance of matching. It's very, very competitive and you've invested so much already and you wanna make sure that you match, so just go for it. Tip number five, schedule your most important interview in the middle of your interviews. At the very beginning, you may be nervous and you're not really in the swing of things and at the end, you could be too tired. So make sure you put those important ones right in the middle. Tip number six, respond to all interview requests as soon as possible. Keep your phone on you because some programs send out more invitations than spots. Tip number seven, rank all programs. Again, keeping your chances high here, you should be attending all interviews and then ranking all programs. This gives you the best chance of matching and there's no benefit to shortlisting. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you're finding anything overwhelming or simply want to learn about how we can help you with any aspect of your application, click our link above or below to book a free initial consultation. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in.